me, Jesus. I'd rather try to actually do what I can to walk the water and then go down and have to have him to catch my hand and take me back to a place of safety. I'd rather do that. And he'll never, he'll never, he'll never, he never condemned Peter for getting out of the boat and sinking, but he did condemn the others who didn't have enough guts and enough faith to even get out, oh ye of little faith. He did condemn them that didn't have the faith to get up and walk and step out on what they believed was in their heart. And I declare to you today that I don't care whether you go down or whether you go under, you get out of your boat, you just take the faith of the Son of God and say, Lord Jesus, I don't know everything that I need to know right now, but God, I'm gonna get some mentors in my life I'm going to surround myself with wisdom, God. I'm going to work on a plan, God. I'm going to prepare myself, and I'm going to do everything that I know to do, God, to make this thing work. It may work and it may not, God, but I'm going to die trying. I'm going to give it the very best that I've got. This is all that I know how to do, Jesus. I'm going to give it my best. If you get out of the boat, I declare to you that God, God will never rebuke you because you tried something and failed. God will give you effort points. God will give you credit. God will honor your faith. He always honors your faith. He always remembers the faith of those, even if they, if they lost out in the end, but he will always rebuke and look down upon those who sat in fear and sat on their talent and who have buried their ability and who wouldn't even plan it so that they could see what possibility could have happened. Don't ever, don't ever, don't you dare ever sit on your talent and bury the gifts and the abilities that God has placed in your life, even if other people laugh at you. Risk being laughed at, risk being talked about, risk it not working, but for God's sake, bust the move and do something. Even if you don't kill anything, shoot at something. Go after it with all of your heart and give it all of the tenacity that you've got and stand there with the determination in mind that I shall not, I shall not be denied, that I'm going to do it, but I'm in this thing because I've gotten in the booth. I have shut the door and now the light is coming on. There's some things that God will never give you the light to even show you how it can work until you get in and get committed. Get in and get committed. Stop looking for a way out. Get in and get committed. If you get in, shut the door and God will turn on the light and show you what things that you can do, what marvelous things in your faith will liberate you and take you to a greater place in Jesus' name. The Bible says in James chapter 2, verse 17 and 18, it reminds us that faith by itself does not, if it does not have works, is dead. Dead faith doesn't work. But he says, show me, he said, one says, show me your faith without your works. And he said, and I will show you my faith by my works. You see, faith has to have corresponding action. We're even admonished to love not in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. First John chapter three, verse 18. But don't just let your word, your love be in flowery words that come out of your mouth. Let them be backed up with action. Because if you don't have the action, your words lose effect. They lose power. They lose credibility. Prevailing faith says something. Prevailing faith believes something. Prevailing faith does something. Prevailing faith is something. But don't let anybody ever talk you out of your faith. Don't ever let anybody cause you to give your faith away. One of the worst positions that people can get in in life is to get into a situation to where they lose their faith. The Bible asks the question that when the Son of Man shall return, shall he find faith on the earth? And God is not looking for people who merely have faith in him. God is looking for somebody in whom he can have faith. He wants to be able to say, have you considered my servant Job? He wants to be able to find faithful men and women and say, have you considered Charlene? Have you considered Angela? Have you considered Michael? Have you considered David? Have you considered John? Have you considered? He wants to be able to consider, to have you to consider some things because you have faith. Your life will be limited unless you live by faith. You'll never do the exceptional. You'll never be become more than mediocre if you don't exercise the faith that God has given you. And let me just tell you that every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl has been given the measure of faith. You've been given a measure. God will always remember your measures of your faith. He will remember the measures of your faith 
He will not keep track of your failures. He will always keep track of the measures of your faith. God will. Never give up on your faith. 